Hey guys, what's up? It's your girl Jenny and I am going on a little adventure today because you know what I realized? I'm living on this beautiful and gorgeous tropical island, Okinawa, Japan, and I'm totally taking it for granted right now. So I have to change that. So today I'm gonna go to a national park. Come with me! first boop, boop. let's get coffee mm -hmm. looks legit let's just go this way This way or this way? Oh my god, guys, if I go lost, I hope someone will find my video material and makes a great video out of it. Because this way goes in the middle of the woods. This way looks like street. This way looks dangerous. I want to be dangerous today. Oh my god. Why did I do this? Today's my off day from the gym. And now I do leg day. Fucking steep, dude. <sighs> the only thing that I'm struggling with is the fucking spiders. <sighs> oh, it was just such a beautiful butterfly. I wanted to show you that. Oh, yeah. <sighs> oh, my God. Oh, my fucking God. That's what I hate it. Fucking spiders. legit so cool guys the first time I went hiking on my own was when I was doing volunteer work in Japan and I just went on a hike the first time because I was never never really a hiker and and now I don't know like I felt the need to go out in nature because I don't know I'm just stuck at home you know especially when you like start your business and you want to accomplish something it's like you lose track of everything that is around you. Like, hello, I'm in Okinawa on a beautiful island and I don't take advantage of it? Mm. No. Nature is just the best healing tool you can ever have. No shit, guys. Be out in nature and just be on your own. I mean, I just talked to the camera right now, <laughs> but basically I'm, I'm alone. I am alone and I love it. And you know what I also realized whenever I'm out in nature, it looks everywhere the same. I mean, I, I have no clue from like trees and flowers, but to me, it seems like I could be in a forest in Germany. I could be in a forest in Australia or New Zealand, wherever I've been in forest in nature, it always looks the same. And it reminds me how we are all so connected. When we come down, when it comes down to like our source, Mother Earth, God, Love, the Universe, however you want to call it, we are all connected from the same root. Doesn't that sound amazing? I hope you can hear that. I love nature, guys, and I leave the animals be happy in their living space, but they should respect my boundaries, okay? Get out of my fucking face. <sighs> oh, look at these cute flowers. Holy guacamole over there big fat in big big fat spider holy fucking shit holy fucking shit can i get around there can i get around there i go around there i can do this i'm not scared fuck this 
I can fucking do this. I can fucking do that. I can fucking do this. I don't know exactly where I am, to be honest. And I don't know if I have to like reach a goal, like to go somewhere. <sighs> I think I'm gonna head back because I got a breathwork session coming up. So I think I should turn around. I got enough nature. I've been walking now for 30 minutes and now I'm gonna walk back 30 minutes. So I went on, a, on an hour hike. I think that's good for a Sunday. <sighs> So I got my spider stick, spider web stick of course, I'm not gonna kill the spiders, but you know, you know what, I used to hate forest, nature, everything that is green, I, I used to hate it guys, and now I'm, I'm like preaching nature hippie, you know, but I used to hate it because it was always so forceful, in school, let's go on a trip with all the people that you don't want to hang out with, so let's go to the forest. But lucky me, my mom, she was so generous. She would always leave me a little sick note sometimes, you know, because she didn't want to deal with my sassy ass. But you know, that's, that's how I, I feel like that's, that's how I started just hating going out in forest because I always combine it with the feeling of, oh, I have to go with the school, with my teacher in nature, you know. It all started, like when I really started to love nature was when I started to be on my own and started to go on my own. I can stand here and just be like taking it in and being hypnotized just by the sounds of nature. Ooh, ooh, oh my god. <sighs> it's what you do for YouTube. Almost breaking your neck because you have to hold the camera. No big deal. <sighs> I wonder what this is though. I've seen that a couple times. That's probably for the habus. For snakes? Because I don't think this is a mouse trap. Who fucking cares if there's a mouse in the forest, right? I made it. I fucking made it. Fuck yes. So now I can get rid of my spider stick. There's my whip. Oh, guys, I fucking made it. Oh. So I was hurrying a little bit because I got, you know, breathwork session coming up in two hours. So I want to get home, which is an hour drive. And then I think I need to shower. What do you think? But that was definitely cool. I got my fair share of nature today. I'm proud of myself for going by myself. That was nice. I got so many silly thoughts coming up every time. But it's good, you know, just letting just letting the inner child out a little bit, you know. Thinking about, oh what what if I would just just jump here, you know? Woo oh oh maybe not, you know. Anyways, I think I'm a little bit dehydrated, so I need to drink some water, guys. Hey guys, if you liked that video, please don't forget to like and subscribe so you guys keep me motivated to go on adventure by myself and um, we stay connected. I love to show you guys where I live with Josh usually, but he's not here right now. So that's why I have to go on adventures by myself because this is Okinawa. I love it. This is beautiful. I'm so grateful to live on this tropical, amazing island. So I need to get out there. I need you to motivate me. Okay, guys, thank you so much. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Mwah. This is beautiful, guys. Can you hear that? Literally no one is here. I love this. Oh my God, guys. Oh my God. Ah, being so close to water is what I was always looking for. And now we got it. This is amazing. I love this. I love this so much. And now it's getting cooler out because we got September. So right now it's actually a little bit breezy. It's actually the optimal um camping weather on island because usually it's way too hot but right now it's good not too much sun it's not cold it's a little windy it's beautiful <laughs>